Hi, my name is Lorraine Young, and I'm a longtime member of First Baptist Church, and I have a story to tell. When I was 10 years old, my father encouraged me to go forward, join the church, be baptized. And so in 1961 on Palm Sunday, I went forward and I was baptized afterwards. Most of this was on the encouragement of my father going forward, not really my decision. And as time went by, I understood his reasoning with that and big changes were happening in our family. My father was a microbiologist and he worked for the National Animal Disease Lab and they built a new facility in Iowa and we were moving to Iowa. In Iowa, there probably were very few, if any, Southern Baptist churches. And so I'm sure he didn't know what we were going to face when we moved there. But we became part of a small group of people that started a First Baptist Church in what we would call today a church plant. We met in a Seventh-day Adventist church, and it's the first place I ever sang in public. My sister and I sang at Calvary. And so I grew in knowledge of the Lord, and I learned to love the Lord and knew about Him. We were at the church every time the door was open. And finally, we built a building. And when I was in high school, probably, I think, 15, we had an evangelist for revival. And at that time, I was convicted. And I went forward, and I called it a rededication of my life. And then I realized that this really was my true conversion experience. As time went by, life happens. And I got to thinking I should be baptized again, but I kept pushing it aside, pushing it down, and thinking, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't need to do that. But it kept coming up. And then a few Sundays ago, our pastor preached on baptism. And it was like he turned around and spoke straight in my face and said, you need to get things in the right order. <laughs> and the Lord would not let go of me. I have been fighting it, and I've tried to push it away, but it was going nowhere. And so I realized that I needed to be obedient. And so I come today in obedience to God, proclaiming that Jesus is Lord, that He has covered me with His shed blood and washed me white as snow. And I look forward to seeing him someday face to face. An extra blessing today is that my son Matthew is baptizing me. He is a pastor at Resonate Church in Moscow, Idaho. And so I am so pleased and so blessed that my family is here with me today. Thank you. The church, uh, Resonate Church, um, that I help pastor, uh, we have a tradition that when we baptize people, uh, we ask that all those who know and love the individual getting baptized to please stand in support of them. <laughs> well, Lorraine, Mom, because of your obedience to Jesus and because of your decision to follow after Him, and because of his faithful pursuit of you all of your life, it is my joy to symbolically bury the old you and let Jesus raise you to walk in new life. And we do this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 